Ex-fugitive says Brian Laundrie's parents they'll do what they can to help him stay free. A man who spent two years on the run in the 90s after faking his own death believes that if they are helping Brian Laundrie, his parents are going to do whatever they can to help him stay free. Laundrie is missing and has been named a person of interest in his girlfriend Gabby Petito's death. Petito was declared missing on September 11, 10 days after not returning from a cross-country tour of national parks with Laundrie.ex fugitive Seth Ferranti made the comments in an interview with News Nation Now on Monday. Ferranti was sentenced to 25 years in 1993 for selling LSD across states, but prior to that, he faked his own death and was on the run from the police for two years. He was at one point on the U.S. Marshal's top 15 most wanted list. When I was a fugitive, the first couple months were the hardest, you know, those first couple of weeks into two, three months, that's when you don't really know what's going on, Ferranti told News Nation now, adding that it took him about five or six months before he let his guard down. If you last that long, you kind of realize, like, you know, maybe law enforcement is not going to find me if I don't slip up, Ferranti added, the laundries have not been legally implicated in Petito's death, but questions have been raised about the fact they allegedly didn't reply to the Petito family's calls for help after their daughter was declared missing. In an interview that aired on the Today Show on October 6, Petito's parents said when they stopped hearing from their daughter Gabby, their first calls and texts were to Laundrie's parents. They said the Laundries never replied. 